Hi, welcome to CG Cars with another walk around of one of our sales vehicles. Today I will have to compete, I'm afraid, with wind and the noise of a tractor behind me, so please excuse that. But today we have this 2012 BMW 120 SE. So this is the five door one series with the five speed manual gearbox and a two litre diesel engine. Now this car is an outstanding condition, covered only 50,000 miles with a full service history. It's only had one owner from you, and as we go around the car, you're gonna see it's very apparent that owner didn't spare any expense looking after this vehicle and kept it in outstanding condition. Now the amazing thing about this BMW is the performance you get, but with the economy and the running cost. This car, believe it or not, is only 30 pound road tax, but will do naught to 60 in seven seconds and go over 140 mile an hour whilst doing anywhere up to 60 miles to the gallon. The current trip computer is reading at 58 miles to the gallon. So an incredible all rounder, a car that you can do all the family duties in, but then when you wanna have a bit of fun, go out and have a little hoon about whilst doing decent miles to the gallon and paying nothing, next to nothing for your road tax. It might in fact be the perfect family car. Obviously being rear wheel drive and BMW it also features incredibly good handling. So you can, as I said, have a lot of fun in this car with very low running costs. So what we do with our videos is a panel by panel walk around. So those of you considering a distance purchase or coming from afar know exactly what you'll be coming to see. There'll be no surprises and it'll make the sales purchase that bit easier for you. So it may get a little repetitive, as like I say, we're doing it panel by panel, but please bear with, because it really does help our customers. So starting from the passenger front corner here, the headlight is clear, no marking on there, really nice and bright, no fading, in excellent condition, uh, no condensation or anything like that. The corner of the bumper is in good condition, no big scrapes or marks or anything there, really no marks at all. Lower fog light is in good condition, as is the grille. We've got this lovely metallic gunmetal grey. I'm not sure what the official BMW colour is, but we'll call it gunmetal grey. Going into the passenger wing, again, good condition. No scrapes or scratches to mark in, uh, to note in that. The alloy wheel is in very good condition. No curbing. As I said, Michelin tyre with lots of tread left on it. The passenger wing mirror has no scrapes on it or scratches. And the passenger door here no dings or dents or scrapes to note there at all the door handle is in good condition with no scratching on that the rear passenger door again is free of any dings or dent there's one little mark just here you don't really notice it but other than that if we look down the side of the car there's no marks or dents or anything at all which is it survived all the car parks really well going into the rear quarter again nothing to note there at all that's all in excellent condition. Paint nice and bright, no dents. The rear alloy wheel, again, uncurbed. Again, with a Michelin tire with plenty of tread left on it. You'll notice there's a slight tint, which is from factory on the rear glass. So the rear light, again, excellent condition. No condensation, no fading, no cracks, all excellent. The corner of the bumper is unmarked. Probably helped by the optional parking sensors that the person specced on this from new so we have the rear parking sensors there rear glass is all good edge of the boot lid is all good along here now where we normally get marks is where the cars are loaded up along the rear of the bumper here but that is in excellent condition nothing to note there at all as we look down the roof panel we see there's no dings or dents or scrapes to note there at all same with the rear spoiler so going into the driver's side again, the rear light, excellent condition, no fading, no condensation behind the glass. The rear corner of the bumper again unmarked, no scrapes or scratches there. Looking down the side of the car, I cannot note any dings again, even small car park ones. It seems to be devoid of those completely, which is really impressive considering there's no bump strips running down the side of this car. The rear quarter panel here, excellent again, no marks to note at all in that. Again, an alloy with no curbing again excellent condition with another Michelin on with loads of tread I'd say the rear tires are pretty much new or nearly new going into the rear passenger door 
nothing to note here at all again so sorry to be repetitive but nothing to note all in excellent condition door handle free of scrapes as is the drivers even down the edge of the door here where normally when the doors are opened onto walls and stuff like that there is no marking it hasn't even been touched up at any time looking down there excellent that's very rare the driver's door here again no dings or dents or scrapes to note there all the paint lovely and glossy you can see the reflection in that now the driver's wing mirror is normally a bit beat up on cars at this age but that is free of any marks because that's the side that normally gets clumped free of any marks on that excellent condition going into the front driver's wing again there is nothing to note here mark wise at all down the whole side of this car there's really no nothing to note at all the front alloy here has some very minor curbing on this alloy very minor on the edge there and again sports a michelin tire that is nearly new driver's headlight again clear no condensation cracks or yellowing rear fog lights in good condition as is the lower grille we do have front parking sensors on this as well they weren't standard the person added those as optional extras and the bonnet the front edge of the bonnet absolutely clear of stone chips nothing to note at all there the whole bonnet is in excellent condition so for a 2012 car i would go as far as to say that this is immaculate to be honest it's in apart from the one tiny little mark on this door here overall the car is in outstanding condition i do think you would struggle to get a better one it's clearly been very well looked after and must have been parked the very other end of the car park i would have thought judged by the fact it has no marks at all so the question is does the interior match well let's have a quick look and i'm pleased to say it does there is no marks on the driver's seat there to note very little wear obviously bear in mind it's done 50,000 miles Again, the passenger seat, no marks or where to note on that at all. The door cards, all in excellent condition, as are the plastics. We'll hop in out of the wind and the noise. I do, I'll point out, we've got all round electric windows and electric mirrors. The rear electric windows weren't standard on these, so someone did uh, put those as an optional extra too. So inside the vehicle, a little bit quieter. Steering wheel, absolutely unmarked. No wear on that at all. All the grain of the leather is still exactly as it would have been new, I imagine. We've got the cruise control buttons here and your Bluetooth and mode buttons here. So we do have Bluetooth in this and cruise control. It's a keyless start. So you just need to have the keys on you and push the start button. All the controls here, all the white labeling is as new. No wear on it at all. And that goes for all the stereo controls and the air conditioning. The gear lever, no wear on that at all. The gator in perfect condition. You've got your infotainment controls here. Again, all the buttons, fantastic. No wear out on them at all. You can turn on and off the parking sensors. You've got sport mode and eco pro mode for the driving style you're in. And uh, you can turn traction control off. Why you'd want to do that, I, I do not know. But uh, again, all those buttons in excellent condition. All the plastics along the dash, these can normally get scraped in cars of this age. That You know, people just get in and out of them. Um, just catch them with bags and stuff like that. It's absolutely immaculate. Now, it's got BMW fitted carpets. And all the carpets are excellent underneath the mats as well. Is really all in perfect condition. Starting the car up, you can see it idles nicely. There's no warning lights for any engine management or anything like that. It's just telling me I haven't got my seatbelt on and doors open. The screen is nice and clear, all the pixels are good. We can scroll through, no problems at all. Lots of nice little features in this infotainment system. I won't list them all, it would take us quite a while. With these systems, you can log in because when a service is done, it is recorded on the onboard computer. So we've got 2014, 2015, 2015 again there, 2016, 2018, 19, 20, 21. The, these BMWs do tell you based on the mileage and the condition of the oil when the servicing is done needs to be done rather than it being a set annual. So we will, however, do another service before the vehicle comes out so that we can add another one to that list. But as you can see, full service history based on the mileage of the vehicle there. 
So going into the back of the vehicle, again, the seats are perfect. There is no marking whatsoever to note on the seats. And again, BMW mats with carpets underneath that are in fantastic condition. All the plastics, again, nice and bright. No real marking to note at all. So looking at the boot, it's the same again. The carpets are fantastic. It's obviously had a easy life below here. We've got the battery. We've got your inflation kit in the side pocket here. You have your medical kit, all original from BMW. All the carpets, fantastic. We've got a 60-40 split on the seats if you need to put them down to load. So overall, as per the exterior of the car, the interior is excellent. We'll have a quick look in the engine bay. And again, as per the rest of the car, the engine bay is in excellent condition. All the plastics are good. It's very clean and tidy under here. So this is a chain driven engine. There is no cam belt to worry about replacing on it. Chains are life of the engine. So well serviced, they'll go on for a very long time. Obviously mega low miles with this one, 50,000 miles at this age. And obviously it's had a fantastic service history. It's running very well. The coolant is at the correct level. Like I say, we will do an oil and oil filter service on the vehicle before it comes out to the new owner. Again, 30 pound road tax for an engine that will do not to 60 in seven seconds, 140 mile an hour and 50 plus miles to the gallon, obviously depending on driving style. Now our sales package includes a brand new MOT and a six month national warranty. You can buy with confidence. Please do read our reviews on Facebook and Google to see the way we treat our customers. Thank you ever so much for watching the video. Any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks a lot. Bye.